morning y'all it's thursday morning and we're still spraying like we have all week um we're doing the last little bit of corn and uh i'm gonna spray around the barn lot with a little fuller so yeah here we go Stuff like that needs sprayed. I'm not gonna get it yet because I'm just showing you around here. And all that needs sprayed. And uh, we do around the whole barn lot, bins, everything. Uh, we'll go over here and check. There's some in front of me. Alrighty, y'all. So I uh, changed the plans. Um, John took over and sprayed around the barn lot. Uh, with the four-wheeler and uh, then I got directed to go replant some um, and then now we just got told that we had to flush all the um, water out of the big tanker and we're done with corn spraying corn and uh, now we're on to beans uh, something about rain next week or whatever so we gotta make sure we get her open or get her sprayed a minute. So, once we do that, um, then we'll see what goes on after. But uh, there's hip squeak right there. Should be coming around the barns. There he is. Taking off to head to go get our chemicals for beans and our water. But until then, um, I'm waiting here until um m&m gets back with the um sprayer once he gets done with the sprayer um we got to clean it all out and then um because if you take those chemicals we sprayed on the corn it'll actually kill the beans uh callisto will fry them beans in a snap of a finger um so we got to change that out uh once we get done cleaning all that then uh we should be good to spray by the time Seaman uh, gets back. So until then, follow along. So when we clean it out, you have to go through and take these little caps out uh, right in there. Uh, and clear water has to come out to know that it's clean and you test each boom. Looks as they're clean there. Uh, last section if he does that same section again he might oh. clear 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 good and then that's it and then we got to go through put all the caps back on and uh, then we have to spray the nozzles out so I will see you then alrighty so now we gotta go through, we gotta do all the tips, make sure that the white ones are cleaned out. Uh, and then we're actually switching back to 12 gallon, which are the gray tips. They're all spraying. And then we just go over and you just twist it just like that and uh, these are for 12 gallon to the acre now we check to see if these 12 gallon an acre will spray and then these nozzles are actually what will spray uh, all the way through beans those are good Uh, 
This one looks like it's uh, just missed a uh, pip squeak honking his horn like a little childish three-year-old and uh we got our chemicals looks like we got section three and then some more superb we done honk your horns of people six feet so we do our little routine take that off that down. Got her, Bob? Yep. I think he pulled a little far forward, didn't he? That's it, man. There it is. Oh, we're getting drips. This is the reason you try not to uh, hit the boom on anything. That stuff's supposed to be straight, and this is snap. Yeah, time to fix. Now you got to. You getting her out of there? Yeah, my way, because it works. Did you hear that? It's going to so small. Can I get this through the hole where it's going? It's coming. Oh yeah. The whole thing's, the whole thing's junk and what it is is the washer's bent and it pries it down. That's what happened to that ring on the other on the other one. A little snugger. Oh, the pin just come out on that one. Huh. There wasn't as much pressure there. There you go. And then we gotta get this piece off. So those are meant to be straight. And uh, they're not, they're bent. So we gotta bend them back out. If I can get a hold of both of them without it spinning, squeeze it. Oh yeah, she coming. Get a little closer down in there, squeeze it again. Maybe. What's so greasy? They just beat her out of there. Yeah, let's squeeze this down just a little more, if it will. And that's this, supposed to be straight too, I see. And that's the same, so it doesn't matter which end. Yep. It doesn't matter which end. It's just gotta be straight, so we gotta take this apart. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Flat was all that. See, not spinning that up. And that's why I was wondering if he took it and it flattered it all out, but it's gonna Yeah, I mean it's bending it worse. What's that there? Hey. That would be really dumb heavy. What's at your feet? That's thick. Right here. What's that? Actually, probably not. What's that? No. It's probably been this. Really? Yeah, because this isn't all I do. What we need is just a, a heavy chunk. And I don't want to use those because those are. 
Alright, I'm gonna do this. Alright. Is this long enough? Doubt it. But yeah, that's thick piece of metal. That ought to work. Chunk it pieces at a time, maybe. You know, if it won't do the whole thing. You want me to do that too? I'd flip these over and use it, but they're not flat on the bottom. We may have to go back to off center. You know, bend it past center. Yep. Oh, that air fits good. Yeah, it does. It's uh, dark out. Like, yeah, literally dark. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, rain. This is where the hammering comes to. Got it pretty well straight, but we gotta make sure it gets straighter. Get Turns out we couldn't fuck the hammer, so we got this one. Want a pair of channels? It's doing all right. All going professional right there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I mean, straight as can get it. All right, what about this one? I think they Did got Did you do these one. pieces yet? They got that one. That'll work then. Well, we'll see. Oh. It's a little dark out, you think, Bob? It's a little dark out for almost 11 a.m. Yeah. Bad storm. Bad one about to happen. A lot of red, so uh, I'll show you guys the radar here and uh, you can check her out. Sure thing, there was plenty of grease. Having fun there, kicking? Putting that piece back in, man. Oh, my bad. Custom. Custom. Got it. Well, it's good, something else. You gotta line up that other washer. The silver. There went. Uh, where's the cutter, Pete? And, uh. <laughs> That looks a lot better now that it's straight. Yes. Well, close enough. It's not bent, that's for sure. And then we straighten those up. Yeah. See if she works. And it works. Looks good. Nice. Morning, y'all. It's a beautiful Monday. 
Uh, we have been told we have to take the grain hopper off of the Kenworth, put it on the low boy, uh, and then go pick up our excavator from another farm to take it to another farm. So then I don't know what we're doing after that, but until then, we'll keep on doing what we're told. Super trucker right there. Man, that thing is dusty. Goodness. So we're going to try to be nice unlike him and uh, clean his windows for him because uh, it's bad, like really bad. the wrong one. Stupid trucker.
Alrighty, we made it to uh, our other farm. So this is why we uh, went and picked it up is they're sucking uh, the pond out and they said that they couldn't get it all. Well, they could get this if they wanted, but uh, they couldn't because it'd take them forever. And with as much as they're getting paid, it's easier just to dip it. So we got to dip the rest all the way down through there. But uh, other than that, there's going to be a lot of truckloads. It's a little update. We've done uh, a lot of loads. Um, but I mean, it's coming coming together uh, cleaning it up really really nice <laughs> all righty y'all we found us a little friend look at that Pretty good size I mean look at that Alrighty guys, the pond dipping is done. Uh, we finally finished the pond dipping. And we got the excavator and everything back home, dump trucks washed. Um, this will be the end of this video. Right now I'm out just checking out beans. These were planted back in April. And some looks all right, but a lot of it doesn't really look good at all. Um, they've been in the ground for quite a while. But anyway, um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, I don't know what will be in it, but another video. Um, I'm going to do an equipment tour. So it might be the next one. It might be the one after, but I'm going to do an equipment tour. So thank you all for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.